Hello lovely people. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to learn how to bake keyframed physics animation in Unreal Engine Sequencer. With so much uncertainty in our life, at least our art direction should be deterministic, right? I am using Unreal Engine 5.5 today and hopefully the process for other versions isn't too different from what I will show you today. I am using a blank 3D project without starter content. Uh, let's create a new simple level and save it. To demonstrate our ability, we use a cube this time. In the last video, I used a sphere, so why not give others a chance, right? Now, before anything else, we go to plugins and enable the movie render cube plugin. Because this is what we will use to render our sequence. I don't understand why this isn't enabled by default by this point. Who is using the default rendering pipeline? Once we are back, open the level. Create a level sequence and drop it into the level. and double click it to open it up. Now we need a camera, so click on this and position it well. Pro tip, you can lock the camera here in the sequencer so that once you move around accidentally or for some other reason, then you can scrub back and forth once and you get back to the original camera position. Now in order to add physics to this cube, first we add the sequence of the cube. Now we need that transform track so that we can give that initial motion. Uh, we add the keyframes and the desired motions. Now that it's keyframed, we want to start the sequence with physics stopped and start it here. We add static mesh component and then we add simulate physics like this. We keyframe at the start once and then true value at the desired position once more. If you have seen my last physics video, then you would know this is not enough. If you try to play it now, then you will see it goes until there and does this kind of shitty thing. So I will do the rest of the stuff before talking about what to do to bake it. And after all that, it finally works. Now I'll set it to be for like total of 120 frames. Um, this sets the sequence for us. What I want to do now is record this behavior so that I can go back and forth as I want. And in order to do that, we go to the window menu here and search for take recorder. Now once you open take recorder, you see a different sequence opens up. We don't want that. 
So you need to go up here and select the sequence you were working on earlier. Now we need to define the stuff we need to bake physics for. So from source, select the cube. Now you can start simulation and start recording. Once it stops, that's it. Now you can close the take recorder and open your sequence. You will notice that there is an actor and a subsequence which is new here in your sequence. And if you play, you will see that there are two of the cubes visible now. A simple fix is to select the cube, the one which does not have the sequences mark. Search for render in its properties and uncheck visible. And now when you hit play, you should have a clean physics animation. But the real magic is that now you can scrub back and it still works. And that's it. Like and comment on the video if it was helpful. And if you want to see some more content, um, do let me know the topics you would like to see videos on. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks and have a nice day.